Right, so what we did before is we attached the tread control to this curve path um, so that it moves as this moves. But we have we have the problem that as soon as it goes into negative space it bounces in the wrong direction, which we will fix shortly. But what we're going to do first is attach a few more controls to this curve, which will then give us some history on the curve so we can build another control, another node onto that, which we can then fix the uh, the reversing track issue. So what we're going to do, let's just get rid of that camera. Curves, polygons, and we want deformers. So we're selecting these curve points here, and then we're going to create deformer cluster. And this is giving you this little C node here that you can see and what we can do is if we click select the select that and move it you can see that the tracks moving but only around where we initially selected it but around it's only moving the control points that we selected now we can use this <coughs> if we pair that to the wheel when the wheel moves up and down the track will move up and down and it'll give us a bit more flexibility in how we animate. So again, select these at the back. If we press G to give us another cluster, and that's the back, the rear tracks fixed. So we can move those. If we look at our hierarchy. So we can ignore these here because they're all part of the main robot. What we've got here are two clusters. So these points at the back of the uh, wheels, they are going to actually control if we parent that these to these. Now we just can see. Nope. the right wheel actually these are the main controllers so these will control so I had them right the first time so now that will control that what we also want to do is put these objects under these controls as well so rear wheel Front wheel goes into there. As you can see, we can now animate the wheel moving up and down, and the track will move with it. Same with this controller. Now there is some distance there, but this is just a basic tutorial to give you an overview and an idea of how to tackle this. So you could probably put more curve points in, add more clusters in, just to give you a bit more of a control. And you could maybe have some more controllers around here so you can get a lot more fluid movement. Um, but for this, it gives, like I say, it gives you the general idea. So you can then animate this movement here. So what we can do then is put these under the path. Nope. parented it to this rather than to this. 
we need to leave this out as you saw the before then if these clusters if this is parented under here I'll show you and that moves this is then getting influenced by this movement and the clusters as well as you can see the path moves away so we have to leave this path out of here but it doesn't matter because the clusters move it anyway and as you can see the tread is moving around quite nicely as well <coughs> and we've added in an extra control where we can animate the wheels if it's going over a bump or something so what you could do is maybe animate it like that and rotate it back a bit just to get that curve again add more control uh, clusters in um, whatever you like just to give you a bit more control over the overall animation of it so now we've got those clusters in we've got the, the track moving with the controller what we need to do now is sort this issue with the bouncing bouncing tread so the problem we have is as the curve as the motion path goes from 0 to 1 it's following the curve anti-clockwise at the moment so that is the direction the curve is always told, told to go in so the tread is always going to follow the direction of the curve Just spotted the tread slipping again. I suspect what's happened there. Let's try duplicating the main. Ah, got that left track up. And what's what it's probably doing is because that is being moved with the clusters it's not its actual uh, transform values aren't being changed so if we change that to left track up we create a duplicate of that path <coughs> and then what we need to do is edit that motion path change that to up so it's now working off this one instead of this let's see if that fixes it Fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. That's fixed it. So we had to create a duplicate of the path that we were originally using because this path is being, it's actually the, uh, the curve points that are moving, not the actual transform. So according to the motion path, it was using the up value from this, which wasn't actually changing. So duplicating the path, and putting it into the group, uh, meant, it, meant it was constantly updating its uh, up position, which fixed it. So let's just hide that. We don't need that anymore. We just need it there as a reference. <coughs> so yeah. What we need to do is, on this curve, um, edit curve, is there reverse curve direction this gives us this node reverse curve direction node which we can play around with and use so if you see now the curve is going in the op uh, the track is going in the opposite direction because we've reversed the curve so we can now tie that into our expression and actively change that in here because we're already doing a check for where the tread is and changing <coughs> changing this direction value as it moves we can also add in another node which will 
change depending on where that is. So we can say if it's into a negative value, change the reverse curve one, which is the piece of history that we've added on the node that we've added on, which is a form of history, to one. So that means it'll be active. So when it goes into negative space, reverse the curve direction. When it's in positive space, disable that node. So fingers crossed. Okay, for some reason why I didn't like that. Um, I've tracked down the problem, although I'm not sure why it may have suddenly didn't like that expression. I, it's something to do with this. So what I'm going to do is remove this curve info. We know the number anyway, 13.059. I'm going to delete that. Go back into the expression editor. Now this this is where the attribute was before, so we need to update that. Zero five nine. Now we add these in. Edit. Hopefully. There we go. Track. moves nicely but it's in the wrong direction so that's an easy fix <coughs> switch these to zero one edit that and there we have the track